Hey guys, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sureful. This lecture we're going to see page scrolling in Cypress. It means how we can scroll up or down as per you need in your page to scroll. How you can do through the Cypress. Okay, let's go. So here our uh, automation page, our testing page or application you can see. Uh, you can see on the right side in, in example you need to you know scroll down up to over here like contact ads this page or this button right and this button so you have to scroll down your page to see your expected um, you know uh, button or content and also you have sometimes you may need to scroll up also so example uh, this headline right header we're going to see or title we're going to see so how you can do it through the Cypress let's do it so let's inspect our scroll down element so it's it is a contact us that's fine so we're back to our VS code I have a spec file it's a page scroll dot JS uh, this is our describe block and then a it block which is a test case I have a, this is a URL to visit and then we're going to Right, very simple. You know, Cypress it has this inbuilt command or function is called scroll in scroll into view function. So we'll call that function to do our scroll up and down, right? So first we're going to you know see how we can go scroll down. So our element first we're going to locate our element side that get or contain side that contains and then pass the string contact us so this is our element that where we want to go down up until that and then call the scroll into view that method okay and after that I would say let's put some local weight side dot weight over here so that you know three seconds through three thousand milliseconds so that you know the whole page get a chance to load the whole application and then it, it will go to scroll down right so scroll into view, scroll into view that function will work on this element so it will scroll down until it's find this element okay and then we'll go up so let's put some another word so that you know it gets enough time to load or you know whole application or remove some delay right three seconds so I put and then let's see what would be our element so example we'll go here our title right so this is our title okay and uh, you know what let's I can use again contains but you know uh, it looks like the contents would be like pretty little bit big welcome to code box automation other than you know let's see how you can look at or find your CSS selector for this element through your uh, test runner so first let's run up to this so let's put this command you know okay so save it let's run on let me run on clear this so you know, uh, I I hope that you already know how to you know run your script on test runner, right? So I will go over test runner, and then page scroll dot js file. Okay, click on there. Okay, loading the page. Three seconds is waiting. It should go down. You see, it's already you know it's scroll bar is already down, and here is our contact adds this element okay so it's successfully it was you know uh, scroll down and now let's go up so ex example I want to you know uh, go scroll up again up until this element this uh, you know our title how can I do this I can locate as I said we, you can also locate or find your CSS selector of your objective or element through test runner you can select this one you know then you can you can see this is a locator so all and it's fine match one element so it is a unique locator just copy it come to here and then let's put it here and then again call the scroll into view right scroll into view 
that method same method save it run it again now you'll see now it should go scroll down first okay okay what really happened it's it's really happened very quick you know you didn't see you know uh, over here if you see from the left side you see from the left side it was here if you just you know r uh, uh, match your script your script over here to loaded the page and then wait th three seconds and then contact us it's fine and it's it's a scroll you can see on the right side the output so it was in a scroll down up until contact us element right and then it's found you can see you know the next element it goes for the the our title welcome to Cornelius automation and it's it's went through all the way up until that element so that's a way we can use scroll into view uh, function to do our scrolling up and down in Cypress I hope it's a very simple and easy concept but it's good to know and it's very effective during your test cases to find the right element you know in one doesn't matter where it is thanks a lot stay tuned watch the next tutorial have a good one